Hi guys, I hope that everybody's doing well. Before we get into the reading, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. So before we get into the main part of the reading, what I'm seeing with the cards is that you may be doing something and you could potentially be looking around at other people, for example, say there's something that um, you're trying to hone in on, like a skill. If you are constantly like measuring yourself up against other people um, or like looking around, you may be um, moving into a space where if you decide to really give your energy to like your process and seeing where that's going to lead you and where that's going to go and exploring your potential you may find that that's a more effective side to lean on behaviorally speaking rather than comparing yourself to another person because it may actually be truncating an aspect of your experience where you could be like Maybe I haven't been doing this as long as this person or they're able to, um, I'm hearing read, they're able to read like this and like I can do that. When we get so caught up in comparing ourselves to other people and trying to like mimic what another person does, it can very much get in the way of us exploring our own potential and how we do that and how that resonates with us authentically. And so if we're solely basing what we're doing off of like examples and what we're seeing, which like it's looking at examples is not a bad thing inherently in itself. And I mean, like what is bad anyway, but it can be helpful when you're trying to figure out how to do something, but don't allow yourself to be truncated and limit yourself to only what you see another person doing because you may have very different skills or very different style that if you're constantly trying to measure up against another person you're not giving yourself the opportunity to explore is my point okay so to get into the reading now i'm hearing give yourself more credit than that Four of Cups. Maybe you're not feeling particularly inspired by something. Could even be feeling resigned. Yeah. If something's not making sense to you or it's not working to you, recognize that that means it's not resonating with you. You're meant to not participate in that. Something to pay attention to. If you don't feel like a full body yes to something, if you don't feel a full body yes to something, if it's not making sense to you, if it's not resonating, if you are having somebody come through and you're like, I don't really want to do that or I don't want to get into that or the way that that person does that doesn't make sense or even like information that you're getting where you're like, mm, something about that isn't really ringing true for me. You want to pay attention to it. I'm even getting the notion of, say there's something that you're trying to learn about, right, and you're researching this, if you're not finding an answer that seems right to you, don't just, don't just take something because you're tired of, like, not finding something that's not working for you. It means that there's, like, more to find and there's more to do and that it may not be time for you to have that answer yet or that information. I'm hearing it's all a guided practice. I'm looking at Taurus here. Yeah, I'm getting this again. If something's not resonating with you, it's because you're not supposed to be connected with that. It's, it's a guide internally for you. Which means that if something does resonate with you, if vibrationally you feel connected to something, 
then it is speaking to you. Then that internal compass is saying, here, let's go in this direction. If you're not feeling that, if you're not feeling that magnetism, it means that that thing is not for you. It's not ringing true for you. And you're not meant to be forcing it. Definitely here for protection, for protective purposes. I'm seeing spirit be like sliding up right between you and something else that it's better for you not to get involved in this. This is something that is not resonating with you. Can even be someone. But it's less about that and more so about the frequency. Because if someone's not resonating with you, it's... It can better be explained as like the frequency that this person is a vehicle for is not resonating with you rather than it just being about that person. It's just the frequency that, again, they're the vehicle for. Yeah, I'm seeing this again. If something doesn't feel right for you to be involved with, I'm seeing there be a very, very big protection between like you and possibly even this can be like onlookers. This, this can be people that like have something to say about what it is that you're doing, but it's not coming from a place of love. This would be coming from another place, but I'm seeing there be like a lot of protection between you there's like a barrier is what I'm seeing. I will say this too, for those of you that are in a situation, for example, you're taking on clients, right? If you have a, a client or a situation come through that like something feels off or part of you is like, I don't really want to do this, even if you don't know exactly why, it's something to pay attention to because it may actually be um, saving you from something that energetically you would rather avoid. It's unnecessary for you to get involved in this. But yeah, if if you're getting a if you are getting a message and you're ignoring it, if you're trying to force something that's not working when your guides have like already communicated with you or your intuition, whatever you want to call it, has already communicated with you, this is not something that's working or this person isn't interested or you're not interested in this, it's telling you that like this is not the right direction for you so it's something again you want to pay attention to because i'm seeing someone here that is like feeling the need to even look at something and this person is completely projecting onto it But in a way where like somebody may be posing like they're interested in learning something or that it could even be like someone gossiping, things of that nature with these two energies. This is like somebody caring about another person and what they're doing in their business. But to have also the five of swords there, this would be like somebody projecting. So the the page of swords isn't actually going to learn anything except more about themselves but they're not realizing that because they're not in a space yet where they're realizing that they're projecting onto whatever the hierophant is in this manner in this case i'm gonna get further and see It's like this, um, someone may be like trying to get connected with their intuition, however, like if the shadow work, if the ego work is not being done, you're just going to be projecting. It's also like this too. If you are trying to channel another person's energy, you are only going to be able to do it accurately if you can empty out. You have to be able to 
be like a blank canvas to be able to do that. And if you're not at that place yet, even when I say ego, I mean anything that's related to like separation, fear, anxiety, things that are coming from a shadow space that is not at peace, um, that is not understanding like the separations within the part of one that is still identifying with like their personality or still identifying with experiences that they've had still identifying with um, their public persona or the labels that one gives themselves. If someone is still in that place, there's going to be an air of projection onto what one is looking at. But with the high priestess here, like somebody may be trying to access something, but rather than being able to do that, they keep projecting, but they're not realizing. And this can be like somebody that you're interacting with. It can some be somebody around you. It can be somebody that's watching you. Or it can be somebody that you're listening to. It can be so many different things. But I'm seeing somebody, somebody that is around you in some way because their energy is popping up. But I'm getting like at least one person within here has received guidance and may actually be ignoring it. But they may not be realizing that they're ignoring it so complicated it does look like something is going to break loose from this situation but yeah somebody may not be i'm getting this over and over again somebody's not realizing that they're projecting but it's because of them not being in a space where they're seeing their ego it even reminds me of like, when you have an idea and you're like, it's a, in an opinion, okay? And you're like, my opinion is right. And then rather than looking for information objectively to see what the consensus is, like, am I really right? Or like, maybe am I wrong within this situation? Or maybe this is like an educated guess, but then it doesn't end up being true. If you look at things objectively, you're going to find the answer. But if you think that you're right about something and you go on to only look up information that is going to support that you're right, you may be missing a big chunk of the information. So, or this person is, whoever this is. So I'm seeing somebody that, like, they're in a place of wanting to learn and wanting to understand, but it's like they're carrying their ego with them, and so this is going to become an issue, because rather than this person being able to see things for how, how it really is, this person is just projecting. But again, I'm seeing this be like a subconscious energy where one may not be realizing that they're projecting onto, onto this, onto what they're looking at. Okay, so I'm looking at Taurus, I'm looking at Gemini, Leo on the bottom of the deck as well. Remember, these can be those areas of your chart, it can be the areas of another person's chart. Yeah, what is this going on? Yeah, what I'm getting is that... So, I... It looks like this is starting to separate into two different energies. One person that may have been offered something or given something or presented with something, this person is saying, no, this thing is out of alignment for me. I don't want this. I'm not resonating with this. So this person dismisses something, okay? And I'm seeing this be, like, this person is very guided to be doing exactly what they're doing, right? On the other... The reason that this person is being guided to do this is, again, for a particular purpose. It is as protection. This is what I'm seeing. So this is going back to this person's energy where somebody is recognizing this situation is not resonating with me or I don't feel into this or I don't want this. Whatever is going on with this person, they recognize this situation is not for me and it's not something I want to connect with and they have been guided to be doing that. And so this person is following their guidance and following their intuition, and that's why they're saying no to something, okay? This is protection, but I'm seeing somebody on the other end of this be like, 
I don't understand why this person wouldn't take this offer or why they wouldn't be interested in this. But like rather than this person looking at it and being like, I want to understand where this is coming from or why this person is like denying me in this situation, I want to learn, I want to understand rather than just being within this space where it's like, let me be a sponge and I can really hear what the reason is because the reason is available to this person. They're bringing the Five of Swords with them. And so rather than being able to see clearly that this person has been guided to say no to something, this person is in an ego space where they're taking this to be something offensive to them. And I'm seeing something going on within two people and I'm seeing somebody be very much in a shadow space here. But it's because they've been denied. Somebody feels like they've been um, like dismissed or turned down, something along those lines. And rather than wanting to understand the big picture and see, oh, it wasn't meant to be, whatever, this person is still very much hanging on to this. And then again, like projecting onto the situation. I'm just seeing like a continuous flow of projection. The reason why... Okay, so let's make this even simpler. Person A was the one that is being approached. Person B is the one that's doing the approaching. Person B feels a type of way because person A was not into this, okay? But person A was guided to turn this down. Person B is feeling very rejected and because of that, the ego and the defenses then pop up and rather than rather than person B being like okay within this situation I'm going to try to look at it and understand where this person was coming from and maybe I can see what they were seeing and maybe I can connect with them because they feel so offended by being rejected this person is then projecting onto the situation and so they're just being like so much more caught up in this like perpetuating that they're doing of the cycle of fear that they can't even get on the same level as person A and why they may have turned this down. And so I'm seeing like one energy really not be into this situation and another like more forceful energy person B being like why but I'm seeing like spirit be above this situation I'm seeing the spirit guides watching somebody that does not have clear transparent pure intentions trying to make something happen between two people but again like I'm seeing the guides be watching this very very closely but because of the, I'm getting something, this is, may sound a little bit out there, because of the positions of spirit and the guides, because of them being, like, higher up plane-wise, the person that is not being transparent with their intentions, the person that is coming from a shadow space with their intentions, because of how, like, low vibrationally they are connecting with right now frequency wise they're not able to even see that the guides and spirit are watching this but i'm seeing there be like a barrier between person b and person a and i'm seeing it be like the spirit guides and spirit in between so yeah person a is very protected is what i'm what i'm seeing where we're going with this Interesting. We're like really getting into where this person is mentally. Person B, the one that feels rejected. I'm getting this notion of like, you know, in situations where somebody will be like, nice guys always finish last. Like I'm, I'm a nice guy and this is what happens and like being resentful about that. Because of the way that person B is handling this, you can kind of see that they're not they're not really acting 
behaving in a way as like a nice guy would and I'm using guy like interchangeably we're just picking pronouns but um yeah somebody may have just because of the way that they took this really took this to heart and then are like again continuously projecting onto this person I know we're kind of like in a cycle talking about this over and over again but it's just like what I keep seeing energetically we keep going back to this and back to this and back to this somebody's also in a space where they're trying to figure out like how do I manage this and what am I supposed to do? And I'm seeing, like, the reason that this is coming up is because, like, person B doesn't want to be in this energy anymore. So they're trying to, like, learn and understand about what's going on here. So this person is trying to break through. It's not just that they're walking around being like, I have bad intentions and, like, I'm trying to hurt you and all of this stuff. The shadow energy is not bad. What shadow energy means is that it's subconscious energy, that by bringing light to it, meaning awareness, meaning consciousness, we become aware of these things. And so we're not ruled anymore by these subconscious impulses and behaviors and thoughts that affect our behavior and our perception and all of that. So I'm seeing somebody be like, this has kind of become unmanageable and now I'm trying to figure out how do I do that. But this person has like a lot of shadow work that they are moving through. But this may have been kind of um, a breaking point for them in a way to be able to see something about their exterior or the way that they were behaving or even looking at another person um through this experience it kind of looks like divine intervention to me the way that the hierophant is sitting within the spread but yeah i'm i'm getting this again 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 um this whole situation this whole situation is being watched very very closely by spirit and the guides I'm hearing all of it. And I will say this too, if you're the one that said no to somebody and you can like feel them kind of like looming around or creeping around, just know that you are protected. Again, I'm seeing this. I'm seeing there be like a lot of protection um surrounding the person that was not into this situation I'm seeing, I'm seeing you feeling a bit pressed here. There's a desire to set boundaries or even communicate, but then feeling like this is hard because of the type of relationship that you have with this person. And for some of you, I'm wondering who this person is because at first when I was reading the energy, this person felt like more of a, a stranger, but for some of you, you actually have a close relationship with this person. And that may be why this is more difficult to do. Let's use an example. Say you have a coworker or like a, a friend of yours that then like wants more of a relationship or they have romantic feelings for you. And so they've um, like tried to approach you in that way. You may have said no or denied this person. And then now you may be dealing with some sort of like rebuttal from them but it makes it difficult because of certain aspects of your relationship or like a social setting with this person for some of you not for all of you for some of you because for some of you this actually does look kind of like a stranger to me at least energetically But I'm getting like sort of an entitled energy with the Five of Swords and the 
page of swords so somebody may feel like hey i should be able to have access or like just being disrespectful because one person is like hey i'm not into this at all and another person is like trying to kind of push the ticket with this and it looks like it may be kind of borderlining on being inappropriate but yeah, for the person that said no, again, I'm seeing there be protection. Like, this is just coming through over and over and over again. So yeah, I'm seeing your guides want to be very clear about this. So yeah. So somebody's somebody sees another person's behavior as being inappropriate, but it may be harder to kind of, like, pin things down because this person is not being upfront. Meaning somebody may be behaving in a way that's more covert and so it could be harder to be like hey you're doing this thing it needs to stop right here it may be hard to kind of figure out how you want to be articulating this to this person you could have a feeling like something weird is going on here and I don't know how exactly to approach it but I'm kind of getting to the point now of feeling like I need to say something about this or I need to set boundaries or I need to protect myself in some way this is what I'm seeing and I'm seeing you also be in a space where you're like, I'm trying to do this from a place of love, but because of the way that I feel so affected by this person's behavior and where it's coming from, this is triggering a shadow response within me. And so I'm finding it difficult to be coming at this from a place of love because of how I feel affected by this. Because remember, when we feel that we are being like threatened in some sort of way, the ego is going to pop up. Because we feel unsafe and so it becomes a protection mechanism kind of like this person experienced not that I'm making excuses kind of like this person experienced when they had that perceived rejection from you that's where certain things start popping up and so for you it may feel more severe on your end because of you feeling threatened in in some way potentially by this person or mm, threatened bothered affected it's like bringing up something for you, kind of like their shadow response is triggering an aspect of a shadow response for you. So again, we come back to you being in a place where you're like, I need to set boundaries. This person is being too pushy, too inquisitive, um, too entitled when it comes to access to my information, what I'm doing, all of this stuff. For some of you, this even reminds me of like being interviewed by somebody that's being very, very nosy and needing to find a way to articulate and set boundaries with this person. So yeah, it can be a social situation to... But the person wanting to set boundaries is like, I really want to do this from a space of love. I understand that like we're all connected. This person's behavior is really throwing me off or it's like undesirable. And... I want to do this the right way, but because of what's going on within the situation, it makes it very, very difficult to address. Because for some of you, you may have even addressed it with this person, and they're in like such a shadow space that this isn't really going to do much for you. It's not really going to do anything. And that's also something to keep in mind as well. Not everybody is going to be able to receive where you're coming from. And so sometimes the best thing that we can do is completely like block and disengage rather than engaging further and being becoming caught up in whatever this cycle is. Because I'm seeing somebody feel very much connected with like their sense of darkness, meaning like a lack of consciousness, a lack of conscientiousness, a lack of self-awareness and so you may actually decide to disengage completely from this because you're not going to get anywhere from this person while knowing again that you are protected within this situation this person is being watched very very closely because of the way that they're behaving i'm seeing like the guides be on top of this and what's going on with this person For some of you, this is an X. So I guess for each of you, it can be somebody very different, um, which looks like the variable within this situation. Yeah, for some of you, this is somebody that you dated in the past that you no longer want to be with because of the way that they're behaving. 
I will say this too. I'm seeing this person. We're not talking about this person's like soul or like saying that their value is associated with this or they're a good person or a bad person or anything like this. I'm solely being shown how this person is behaving. I'm not being shown anything else. So vibrationally, the frequency that this person is on, this is why you're being guided away from, from this person to separate from them and to also like if they have access to you like block them stuff like that i'm hearing no matter how many times it takes so maybe this is something repetitive for some of you but yeah for some of you this is somebody that you dated in the past for others of you it can be a co-worker for some of you this is like somebody that you don't that you're not familiar with like this can be a stranger say you have like a following or something like that can definitely be a situation like that for you um or yeah just somebody in your life that has shown interest where you have been very turned off by their behavior and so wanting to separate from this situation because yeah this person is not in the not in the place to be connecting with you and I'm seeing it being guided that they're not even able to have full access to you either I'm seeing it too because for some of you, this can be somebody that you're like, I do care for this person and I do have love for this person and that's what makes it difficult to say no within this situation, but it's about having compassion and also practicing boundaries. Because this person, um, like right now with the way that they're going, it seems very much like they are going to be hitting a, a tower in some way and you don't necessarily want to be around that when it does happen because I'm seeing them being like so weighed down spiritually by the way that they've been behaving that like something is just going to like break is what I'm seeing here. And the advice for you is to be observant, not judgmental, to be observant, to advocate for yourself, and to do this with as much honesty, transparency, and love as possible. To do it from a place of love. Because you don't want to allow this situation to bring you down. You want to interact and handle this situation when you choose to from a grounded space. Because I'm seeing someone digging like quite a hole for themselves and so you don't need to take part in that. Interesting. Different flavor of reading. Makes sense too with all the Neptune energy. Yeah, and for some of you, you're going to decide to move away from this situation. There's a notion of, like, moving or you transitioning out or away and feeling like that is going to help you. So whether this be, like, a physical move that you're making to get away from somebody or something that you're doing protection-wise for yourself or you're, like, blocking somebody or not giving them access, I'm seeing there be movement that is going to be happening where there's going to be more of a sense of alleviation in relation to what's going on yeah for some of you you are actually moving physically not for everybody you could even be moving like say this is happening like on social media or something like that there could be something that you're doing social media wise for some of you though I am seeing something about there may be like more of an involvement, like you could have people looking into this. I feel like this is on like the more severe side of this. For some of you, you could actually be taking legal action um, with this if this is something that's been persisting too. So I guess it just depends on what's going on within your situation. But for some of you, there's some sort of um, like outside help that you may actually be connecting with for this or assistance. Yeah. Okay. We are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for connecting. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing. And I hope to catch you guys next time.